Hello everyone. I thought I'd put together a video of one of my new little bunnies that I've been working on. So this is a sculpture that I've made based off my original face. I sculpted a little bunny mask with it just because I thought that would be super adorable and it, it so is. I love these so much, I can't even tell you. What I do first is make up the skin tone and then I airbrush that on and the reason I airbrush it on is so that I can get the finish to be as smooth as possible. Because I use a lot of pastels and blushing the surface really does need to be as smooth as it possibly can so I don't want to use a brush because that's going to leave behind brush marks. So for the face I just airbrush it. And then the mask pieces I just hand paint those and so this I'm just using a standard sort of carbon black from Golden and it takes I think about three coats and after I finished doing the coats I then sealed it in a matte sealant which gave it this really cool rubber look like it's like a Batman mask you know so I thought that was really cool. So she's cast in the same stuff as my larger heads, which is a bright white polyurethane resin that I get from Smoothcast. It's a really easy resin to work with because it's just a two part mix, equal parts A and B and that's it. And you don't need to have a vacuum chamber for it. I mean the casts will work out better if you have a vacuum chamber, but you don't need to have one, which is great because I don't have one. Uh, so yeah, it's a really good product. I'll leave a link down below so that you can go and check that out if you want. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them or anything, it's just what I use. Now originally when I made my first bunny I cast it all as one piece so I cast the face and the backboard just all as one just pulled it all out of the mold 
but that was really difficult to try and paint the face because I had to hold on to this unwieldy backboard and you couldn't, it was just really difficult to get into all of the little, you know, corners of the mouth and the edges of the mask and all that sort of stuff. It was so incredibly difficult. So for this time around, I decided I would just cast just the face and I would do the board separately. This just made it so much easier to actually get to all the areas of the face that I needed to get to because trying to paint the eyes inside the mask is really, really difficult. It's just a really awkward place to try and get your brush. The eyelashes especially, holy God. That was the point at which I was like, why did I not make the mask separate? <laughs> and just glue it on afterwards, you know, I was like, I'm not planning this properly. So, but no, I mean, it works out, it's fine. I've kind of gotten the hang of it now because I've painted a, a couple of these now, so it's all right. So after I paint the mask, I then go in and I do all the details on the face and that sort of thing. I paint her basically the same way that I do any kind of face up. I do a bunch of base layering and colours and then I paint the eyes in last. So everything else is usually done and set and then the last thing is the eyes. Her mask is glossed in Tamiya gloss. Um, it's got several layers. It's about three layers of gloss to bring it up to this high sort of glassy shine. And it gives it a really nice hard, sort of almost enamel kind of finish as well. 
I was considering using resin to do her mask in, but resin tends to take 24 hours to dry. So it's very difficult to use for spot varnishing because it moves. So you sort of, you know, you put it all on, it looks great, but it's going to continue to move over that 24 hour period before it properly sets. And so you end up with the resin in places that you hadn't planned to put it. So if you're gonna cover the whole piece in art resin, then that works out fine. But otherwise, she just ends up with a whole bunch of shininess in her eye wells, and then it's just sort of leaks across the backboard, and it's just kind of a disaster. guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye.